All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Day number dose. Watch out for my thing. I burnt myself. Not flicking you off. Not flicking you off. All right, so uh, day number two, we're doing all right here. So I think I'm actually on day number three, technically, because I didn't drink the last night of last month because I wanted to start the month with a fresh whatever. But for all intents and purposes, this is video number two, uh, day two of being sober and clean. Know what I mean. Uh, first things first, I just want to clear something up. Um, someone I was talking to, a friend of mine, um, who shall remain nameless, was saying, uh, we were messaging back and forth, and he was like, yeah, man, I don't really have a problem with checking my phone all the time, this and that, blah, 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 blah. That's what you sound like now. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> um, he was saying he didn't really have a problem with checking his phone all the time. And I'm like, you know, I get that. That's cool. But I want to address, like, it's different for everybody how it affects you, right? But it's not just if you check your phone all the time, right? The main thing from the studies that I've done and what I've seen is that it's about how much you are in the phone, how much your eyes are in the phone, right? So that being said, and especially early in the morning and especially in the evening, that's when it affects us the most. So that's the biggest thing, you know? Um, and obviously, if you're someone who is checking your phone every six seconds, like I'm, I said yesterday, that's also not as good for, for our mind, right? Um, but the big thing is, if there's, a, if there's a first step at all, which is the first step that I'm taking, and that's to put the phone down when I go to bed and read a book for a little while, right? Like read a book for at least 30 minutes before you go to bed or do something else. Sit there in darkness. My routine has been... I read for about 30 or 45 minutes and then I close my eyes and I do some breathing techniques to like calm my mind before I go to sleep. So I'm like slowly trying to edge into the world of meditation or whatever. That's, that's, uh, that's my thing. Um, and then in the morning, like I said yesterday, I wake up, um, I do my damnedest to not turn on any lights and I just try to open the blinds in the place and, and let natural light come in, get together, make some water, put some lemon in that bitch. And I head out for my morning walk. Doing those things, I feel a lot better. And obviously, clearing up the mind from not drinking is helping as well. Also, I wanted to say, it's pretty cool to hear from a few of you guys saying that you're doing the same thing. Uh, doing the Sober September thing. Um, probably, I think, three of you guys or four that have said something or, or mentioned it to me. And I'm really enjoying the engagement and talking to you guys. I had another uh, new person, or he may not be new, but he was telling me that he's been off of the the weed for like six weeks and hadn't drank and god knows how long and he's i don't know there's a few different things he's doing it's that's really good said he started waking up at 4 30 in the morning and he's starting to listen to classical music and shit that's the type of stuff that happens for me the biggest thing i'm still waking up early but i'm not getting up that early but when i when i originally quit all these things when i quit weed cigarettes and beer mainly the point here is the cigarettes I was doing the same thing. It's like you don't even control it. You just go to sleep. You can set your alarm for fucking 5.45, 6, 6.30, but you wake up at 4 or 4.30, and, and you wake up raring to go. Like you wake up like, yeah, fucking let's do this shit. For me, like I said before, I'm definitely going to use this time period, this, this sober September, to get rid of the cigarettes as well. Um, I'm back to the number I said before where I'm doing about five or six of them a day, and right now I'm just trying to like, when I, when I have that urge of going, guess I'll go for a cigarette. And then I'm like, I try to like redirect my brain somewhere else. Like, hey, Phil, how about you go do this? This is good. Go do this. One of those things I recently did was I put together um, the vision board you see behind me. Well, let's see. See that right there? That's my vision board and also my to-do list every day. What to do, what not to do. I'm just waiting on the comments for people to make fun of the shit I have on my vision board. That's cool. And then over here is my workstation for my job. And I got that soundproof shit there. I don't know how well it works or whatever. And then blah, blah, blah. I got some shit going on. All right. So aside from that, update on the not drinking, how it's affected me. My brain's definitely starting to move a little bit faster. I'm starting to be a little more... Uh, which is not crack. It's just not fucking drinking and smoking weed. So that's going to increase and it's fun to watch this process and i think that's it i got for today so uh some, well, yeah, someone was like man how are you gonna come up with content every fucking day and i'm like well you know i don't really know i just fucking 
hit record, and I just start blabbing, and then I piece it together. So, anyhow, you guys have an awesome day, an awesome evening. Do something new and challenge yourself. One love, real deal out. Cross you white in Regan.